So if all Mach 5 was able to provide you with was some amazing sampling technology and sample playback, uh, I really feel for the price they're asking that would be enough. But they've included this massive, massively powerful synth engine that can emulate analog synthesizers, FM synthesis, wavetable synthesis, ear cam stretching and granular synthesis. Literally, I can't think of any other program or VI that offers that much all-in-one under one hood. It's really awesome. So let's check out how to create a synth patch from scratch. I've got a nice empty part right there waiting to be filled. And I go to this little little uh, wrench sign, sort of a settings thing. And I can make a new key group in new layer. And when I do that, my key group is spanning the entire keyboard. And the, the layer, the thing that it's given me is an analog synthesis uh, oscillator. So a nice, simple analog wave form for me to mess with. I can turn on the sync and start to... I can get some unison voices in there. So you can already, just with a sine wave, using a single, a single oscillator, um, you can do some square wave. I'll turn off the sync to get a little bit more of a tame square wave. So there we go, cool, like, sort of chip tunesy kind of feel. But that's not all. So I've got all those waveforms available as a single, you know, analog oscillator. But if I wanted to, I could change this to an analog stack. And now I can sort of bring in all these different waveforms all together. So I'll turn on, right now I've got the sine wave turned on. I'll turn on the other ones too, the triangle and the square waves. And you can kind of vary the pitch a little bit if you want to. I'll use the fine tune. And you can put the, you know, pans in different spots and you can kind of create this giant. Nice big synthy. Big, big, big synth sounds, adjusting the phasing of everything. So let's bring them back in tune a little bit. Maybe we went a little too far having fun with the tuning. And I could stack eight oscillators together. And if you think about it, you can do that and add in sampled stuff. I mean, you could make really, really big and powerful synth patches pretty quickly. As we saw before, I can integrate some noise in there. So if I want noise in my synth layer, I can do one layer of noise and then another layer of whatever I want, the analog sound. I've got FM sound, so for traditional. The Yamaha DX7 lovers in the bunch here. So I can get some really cool FM synthesis based on that. And remember, you can combine any of these with any of the others. So that's amazing. Wavetable synthesis. So we're getting into that sort of Korg era. There's a mini Moog kind of wave. Look at all those different. They give you little pictures of the waves so that you can kind of do it based on what you're seeing. So if I want to, I can even describe them. You know, some vintage keys. Here's a little Farfisa organ. Or go into like formant stuff and get vocal type thing. So I love that you can just cycle through those different wave shapes. Just the spread. So really very, very, very cool synth engine under the hood there. Even got an organ synth engine with the different, you know, pipe sizes and everything.
and uh, a drum synth engine for sort of percussive attack type things. So you can create just massive, massive, massive sounds this way. Um, it's really incredible. So if I add another key group and another layer, um, I can take one and kind of stack them both onto each other if I want to. I'll just move this to the side so I can get to it. So now I've got my original one and then the analog synth, you know, kind of playing at the same time. So I can do that percussive attack. Combine the drum synth with the um, analog synth at the same time. Some real cool electronica sounds. So like I said, you can combine any of the engines together and make some really cool sounds. So this is the synth engine of Mach 5.